Hello, 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 hello. So today I am coming from you live from London, from my parents' garden, as it's such a beautiful spring day today. I had to get outside and I don't have a garden in Brighton, so I'm making the most of it today. Also testing this sexy new radio microphone thingy here. So hopefully the sound's okay. Please give me a shout if you can't hear me. This is the first time using it. So um, we'll see how we go with that one. Hopefully you can all hear me okay. So maybe give me a thumbs up if you can hear me or a little heart to let me know you're there. And as always, please drop a comment and let me know whereabouts in the world you are watching from. If you are in Brighton or Birmingham or Barcelona or Bali, I want to know about it. Even if you're watching on the catch up, just drop a comment in and let me know. I'm just going to check what the comments are. Let me know you can hear me. Yep. Fantastic. Thank you, Josie. Thank you, Carla. That's awesome. OK, cool. So. Today, I want to give you just a little bit of technique. This was a question from lovely Claire Stewart, who is based in Milton Keynes. And she's been watching my Tabata Thursday videos, which are videos that I've been doing on Instagram for a little while now with uh, Tabata in them, which is a, a high intensity cardio practice you can do in four minutes. And I've sped up the videos quite a bit so that uh, they're just 30 seconds on Instagram. So obviously some of the technique on there isn't very clear. So Claire was asking about one of the things I was doing on there last week, which was the stiff legged because it is one of my absolute favorite little exercises to do at the moment. It is fantastic for core strength all round because it involves a bit of balance and a bit of forwards folding. It's amazing for shoulder mobility and shoulder strength if you can start to add weight to it. And also for stretching out those hamstrings and hamstrings, oh my goodness, like if you have a desk job and you're sitting all day and also us belly dancers with our belly dance posture with our bending knees all the time, you might have quite tight to stretch them out as much as possible is fantastic. So stiff leg and windmill, what does it look like? So I'm gonna take quite a wide stance and um, let me take a little step back, make sure you can all see me here. And I'm gonna point the one set of toes towards the side and the other set of toes can be pointing forwards. Um, I'm really thinking about engaging my core strongly, really squeezing that belly in and also squeezing my glutes, my butt muscles to really support me here. And it's called stiff legged windmill for a reason. So my legs are straight, not locked, but I'm really squeezing my quadriceps, my thigh muscle, which is going to help to open up the hamstrings some more and also to protect the knee. Um, so they're not locked, but they are straight. From here, I'm going to take one arm above the head and then I'm going to reach down in between my legs or sliding my hand down the leg and then just coming back up again. So really keeping the core engaged the whole time. Rotating the arm, allowing the arm to rotate in the socket. So this is where you get the mobility in the shoulder and really keeping particularly that front leg or the toes that are pointed out to the side really engaging the thigh muscles there. Hopefully you should feel this nice stretch in the hamstrings. Cool. So obviously we have to do both sides. So I'm going to do the other side for you guys now. And um, I recommend starting this one with out any weight in. So just using your body weight, getting used to the movement, perhaps videoing yourself, making sure that you've got some good form going on. And then you can add some weight in it to really get a little bit of extra strength training in for those shoulder muscles. So if you don't have any actual weights at home, you could grab a can of beans to start you off. Um, otherwise, little hand weights work great or even kettlebells are fantastic for this one. That was the stiff-legged windmill. If you have any more questions about it, please pop them in the comments below. Please do keep an eye out for my Tabata Thursday series, which is every week. Hopefully, I'm going to be expanding on these in the future, but for the moment, they're just going to be these really fun short videos. So please, if you're not sure about any of the exercises on there, do let me know, and hopefully I can do another video for you just like this. And if you've joined us a little bit late, please do pop a comment, let me know where you are, and give me a little heart or a little thumbs up to, so that I know some more people have been watching. So if you have enjoyed this video, I'm going to be doing, if you don't know it already, um, a challenge in a few weeks time, a special 14 day challenge for belly dancers who want to improve technique, but also just get stronger and fitter and prevent injury um, in daily life as well as belly dancer, but as a belly 
as well as belly dancing. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes, exactly. So if you haven't already signed up for the challenge, you can register your interest. I'm going to pop a link to the Google form to do this in the comments right after I press stop on here. So jump on there. And I think that's it for today. And I will see you next time.